Welcome to the Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This is basically an enhanced, advanced version of the 2015 class, or the 2015 game. There will be many things in here that have been added in, vehicles, and other stuff in here that has increased the expansion of this game. I definitely recommend this game. I myself am a fan of the Mechanic Simulator series and, and had the the opportunity to be able to own all three games at their start so we're going to get into this and I'm going to explain to you the basis of the game and I'm going to express one thing right off of the start this is a free play game right at the start of you make your profile and begin this game so it is not like um, you have to do things to reach certain levels to open up the big boss thing. So therefore, your level here is only based on your experience to the kind of mechanic difficulties in dealing with cars. But it's not going to get in the way of anything else because this is just a shop. It is a full dynamic game just like it was in 2015. So you're not hindered down to only certain protocols like you were in 2014. And that's the part I want to make sure that it is understood and clear because I've been seeing on the forums and including video tutorials, people that are confused with the concept of this. This is basically like how you'd have a, people like baseball, there's a game about baseball they play. Uh, people like shooting games, there's a game about shooting games. Well, it's no different. It is, you got people out there who like, who are car guys and who work on cars and stuff. Here's a game about that. And that's what this is. And they really went through the trouble to bring that aspect as much as they can at the availability to you so that you can be able to enjoy it. So let's get this started. Now, in the shop, you had to excuse the minor lag. For some reason, in the Windows 7 operating system, it tends to lag. My graphics card is not all that, so a lot of the stuff is like toned down. But I still get the slight lag. But on my other hard drives, I have two of them for the operating systems on this system I'm on, has Windows 10. And for some reason, that seems to run way better than this. And the graphics, I could turn them up more. I, I don't know why. But what I use for recording the videos won't work in 10. Anyways, um, when the, I've seen uh, uh, some videos where people are starting out here and don't understand what this is about. This is to make you familiarize with everything that's in this shop. And we're going to be going over those familiarities. So the tire machine is no longer around for looks like it was in 2015. The tire machine is something you actually use to take tires off of rims and put them on. And then you got to balance them before you can put them on the car. We will go over this as it goes along. The toolbox is still used for your upgrades for your levels. So you, when you get your upgrades up here, you have to have your experience point in which you can be able to add when it's available. The experience points are up here, but unlike before, you cannot say that you can have a thousand experience points to unlock something. Your experience points here in the small green, as you can see, these will be the points that you will need to have here in order for this to uh, meet your unlock. So basically this is telling you ahead of time what you're going to need to unlock one experience upgrade point. When you get them, you will apply them to your list. Your sections for your shops are no longer, you have to buy them. The expansion on your shops will be done through here. And this includes all the rooms. So basically what you're looking at is after you have everything. But this is not what you will be starting out with. The parking garage, I've seen people on the forums get confused with this, and even in the videos that I've been watching on YouTube. And I will explain to you what this is for. In 2014, people wanted to restore cars, and all of us from 2014 know this, they've been a big thing on the forums and whatnot, but because the way the engine's made, you can't tear it all apart and rebuild it again and then reestablish the game doesn't work that way. Once it's done, it's done. In 2015, this was made possible. 
And what they did was is they add parking levels in which you could put only your cars. The ones you get for yourself come here. So it doesn't matter if you're restoring them for yourself or restoring them to sell. This is where you can only put your cars. A customer's car does not belong to you, so it doesn't go here. And I've seen it asked more than once. So there are no customer cars that will ever go in this place. The only cars that go here are what belongs to you. Nothing more, nothing less. And some people will buy cars from the auction or get them from junkyards or barnyards. We'll go over those as the tutorials go along. And they'll try to fix them up right here, but they won't be ready for it because their shop isn't expanded. Well, this is where you put them until you're ready to work on them. Even if you don't have the money, after you purchase them, you put them in here. Because that's what the point of this is to have it for. Nothing more, nothing less. Very, very, very simple. Now, you come to the garage door, it still takes you to go to wherever you got to go to, to reach your different locations. So this has not changed. We'll start on the side first. When you get cars with beat up body shells, you'll restore them here to make the body shells like brand new. Mind you, this has nothing to do with the parts like doors, hoods, and fenders. This is talk about the body shell only itself. Now, everybody in 2015, you want it, you got it. This is an engine hoist in which you can be able to carry your stuff out. The, the engine. What you do is you're able to carry the engine out as a whole complete. So you no longer have to worry about taking them apart while they're still inside the car like you did in 2015. So even though that you may have to until this section of the garage is open, but when it's open, that's what this is going to be used for. This is the battery charger that allows you to be able to charge old batteries and bring them back to uh, a good condition. You can take the interior seats out and the uh, steering wheels, which was something that was requested as well in 2015. And you use this cart here to clean up the interior or fix it up. That would be this stuff here, dashboard, glove box, floors, stuff like that. This is what you get to be able to, uh, to receive your phone calls on the telephone. And while you're on the phone, you will still be able to receive these different orders. So this hasn't changed at all, so they were able to keep that. This is the computer where you build order parts. We will go over that as it goes along. This is the storage shed. I always felt there should be one to store parts that you ain't ready for or accidentally bought. Plus, uh, uh, there were some requests for this, so now here it is. I've seen on the forums where some people had knocked on this and feel that it's redundant. But you see, you have to own a garage or no people own a garage to understand that this is used for real. We will go over this as it goes along. Because many people had trouble with pouring oil for some reason and end up spilling it on the floor, this here is automatic. You just click what you need so that it could be moved underneath the car and then hit your button and it automatically drains the oil so you don't have to worry about it anymore. When you pull your engine out, you can put it on this engine stand in which you can be able to work at it as a complete assembly. We will go over this because there are things that you need to do to be able to put this up. And I've seen questions before and I will pretty much be covering all that as the tutorial goes along. We already seen the thing for the computer. This is the radio. Now, people wanted the radio back from 2015. 14, which was not available in 2015 because you had only the music that the game provided. So here you have different kinds of stations that you can choose from. This is the one that I listen to the most. You can also go to the next song and listen to that instead. Or simply turn it off. The choice would be up to you. 
This here is the repair workbench. This workbench allows you to build to repair stuff. We will be going over that as well. And this here is the test path. And anybody out of my mechanic classes from the 2014 to 15 know that I call this the break and shake room because that's all this ever does. Test brakes and shake the car. Now, many people in the forums has pointed this out in 2015, as well as myself, that basically struts and do not are not taken off in parts while they're on the car. So now we have ourselves a strut compressor in which we could be able to disassemble and reassemble struts and spring-loaded shocks, and they're all done here now. So there'll be no more taking them apart in separate pieces. This is the paint room where you can now paint your car and it has some features. We will be going over those as it goes along. Plus it is accessible so you can walk in and be able to do this. They really expanded your use of the role play so you have more you can do because it's accessible. The dyno is also accessible. You will no longer be using color graphs or codes to determine how you set your power in the car because you have to have the dyno downloaded content to gain access to it so that you can be able to use this and in there we'll have all your upgraded stuff like engine performance parts and whatnot and what you do is is that you apply what you need and test it on the dyno like you're supposed to and see where your power band is dealing with it whether it's upgrading those pistons heads, spark plugs etc etc then you'll be testing it here I believe I have covered all the primary stuff that you can use in this shop. Anything I missed will be going over that as it uh, goes along like I've had before. Now I also noticed some people also missed the point of what this is about. So here we go. The cars are here for you to be able to work with and deal with so that for those who don't know about the game can expand and learn some stuff about the game by toying around with it. that's what they're here for and you can pretty much do what you want take what parts that you want off of it get what you can running totally up to you in the end you'll be taking this car out to the test track make sure there is engine oil in it because there isn't at the start of this thing and some people will go why did they got it like this? Because I saw that before. They give you this car and there's no oil in it. It's pretty stupid. It's when you when you get a car into the shop, you must check the oil in it. It's a good idea. Because when customers bring the car in that don't know anything about the car, they're not checking the oil. So they don't know how much his oil is in there. So for all you know, there's nothing there. And you'll be taking that car out and seizing that motor up because of the no oil or bad oil condition and you'll be the one paying for that because you could go up there well, I didn't know what well, you're a mechanic you should know that that risk is there because if the customer knew how to do all the stuff himself he would not be bringing the car to you would he he brings the car to you because he don't know how to fix it so there's really nothing done about it so the whole purpose of that is to get you familiar with checking the oil. It's a very important thing. When you take a car that isn't running or you restore your own car, you can also test to make sure that it starts before going anywhere. And take it someplace that you want and choose to go to to see how uh, what's going on with it. So you could actually do that from here. Okay, now to end the tutorial of this part of the game, what you'll do is, is you'll get in this car, run this thing on the test track. Once that is over with, the game will end and then you'll be starting up in your shop how it's going to really look. Because remember, all this is the expansion as you open up stuff within the toolbox. So until those levels are open by your experience points, the, uh, they're not going to be available. Okie doke, so let's get this going.